Hey, what is up guys? It is Uncle Kobe, back with another pre-release Black Ops 2 weapon guide, where I talk about some of the weapon statistics and how I think it might be used in the game. Also, if you guys didn't notice from the last video on the shotguns, I ditched the idea of giving them a grade because I've kind of found it pointless to grade them already and one person actually commented that I'm a harsher grader than his English teacher, so yeah, I just threw that out. Before I start, I wanted to address something, so I know a lot of you are asking, you know, what's the fire rate, how's the recoil, but you have to remember that a lot of these guns aren't even around yet and a lot of them are either made up or based on weapons that might be used in the future, so I'm going to do a much more detailed weapons guide when the game finally does go public where I can cover the recoil, the fire rates, the hip fire spreads, the damage differences through different materials, and all that stuff, but I'm going to wait till that information will actually become useful. This series is more just about talking about the guns because honestly talking about Black Ops 2 is more fun than playing Modern Warfare 3 at the moment so that's why I do these. But anyways today I'm going to be covering the light machine guns and the LMGs have easily been the most underused weapon class since the beginning of Call of Duty franchise. The game will always be saturated with assault rifles and SMGs and the occasional optic wannabes but how often do you see guys running around with an LMG? You know it really is few and far between and I don't really think that's going to change with Black Ops 2 but I still want to talk about these bad boys anyways so let's do it. So starting off we got the MK48 with increased damage and range and it boasts the best stats out of all the LMGs with the 12 point mobility which will stay constant throughout and 15s across damage, range and accuracy. But I didn't really like the MK46 in Modern Warfare 3 and I don't think I'm going to like this gun either. Just when you have higher stats you would usually presume that it had a bad recoil or a rate of fire but I'm just going to have to wait to make an accurate decision. Moving on we have the QBB LSW and this weapon doesn't actually even exist yet. We had the L86, LSW, and MW3, but I doubt there's any connection there. LSW simply means light support weapon, so you can basically tack that onto any of these LMGs. But it has the worst stats at 11 for damage and range, and 12 for accuracy, but it makes up for it with its fire rate, which is actually the fastest out of all the LMGs. But however, I'm still not the biggest fan of LMGs that shoot ridiculously fast. I'd much rather prefer one that was more accurate with lower recoil. But next we have the LMG that I think might be better than all the rest, and that's the LSAT whose description is versatile and strong overall. And I like that word versatile because I like my LMGs as close to resembling an assault rifle as it can be because at that point it's just a freakishly strong assault rifle. But this weapon has pretty good stats with 14s across damage range and accuracy which is slightly lower than the MK48 but I'd give up a point here and there for a more overall well balanced weapon. But onto the last LMG we got the HAMR which I assume everyone will call the hammer. And I found this one very interesting because of its description which reads reduces fire rate over time becoming more accurate. So I'm guessing at first squeeze of the trigger bullets will just be pouring out constantly uh, which will be very effective against people rushing at you close quarters. But as you try to pick off people long range the fire rate goes down and your shot will become more accurate so you can land more shots on your target. So it's kind of like a PP90 that morphs into an MP7 when you're shooting at long range. Which is awesome, but totally speculation. Going over its stats, they're pretty average. It has a 13 point damage and a 12 point range and accuracy. So I think this gun will be very good overall as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the LMGs. But do you guys even use them currently in MW3? Let me know down in the comments because I personally really don't. But anyways, I thought this was the second to last pre-release weapon guide I was going to do. But I remember the secondaries, so I'm going to cover the pistols and the launchers after I do the snipers, which should be out later this week. But don't forget to hit that like button, I really do appreciate it. Click on either of the videos on screen now if you feel like watching more. But this was Uncle Kobe, I love you all, peace.